Hello again, uh, my name is Ray and I'm going to show you the H2C or how to call or H2 ceramic or whatever a cooling system from Dell. It's a two part cooling system and it, they, they, they like says the promises that this is going to be the best cooling system ever and then the well, you know the deal anyway put the, the reality behind that it's really crap and it's really expensive so what I what I have here is um, the second generation H2C cooler the first one you can see in my other videos um, this is called two part because it's actually two parts of it now, it consists of a radiator here right this this is um, this part is mounting on, on onto the fan, onto the system fan. It's in every Tel XPS I've seen so far, 720 or 730. So what happens is the hot air is being pumped in here by the pump here in this part, and it's being cooled down on or. Uh, over in this radiator here. There's another radiator here. It's it's called a reserve water collector, I guess. Yeah, it could be. And then there's a lid lid head to pour the water in. I'm not really yet sure. Sure, is it is it either a water or something else? Because uh, I had a leak here. The previous owner uh, probably was overclocking the PC or something. I don't, I'm not sure now. But that sure blew up the pump. And then uh, I still have the oxygen on there. The huge button. Uh, yeah, that's right. This this is the leg of the Dell XPS 730. Um, this this is the oxid that was blown from the pump all the way through the bottom part of the PC up on the leg so it's that good now the thing the real thing about this this pump is that it's really expensive I mean the prices I found so far is a seven hundred dollars for a refurbished from, from you know a single company like it's probably a, consists of few men only but from Dell I don't think they were offering a new parts anymore I'm not sure but um, I didn't see any I seen only a refurbished part and it cost 1,190 or something so 1,200 which is ridiculous and that's, that's a rip off for this crap I mean, I should I, sh I should have gone for a Zalman a Zalman air cooler, you know. But for this kind of system, just yes, have this one in here. So I tr I just try to fix it. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to tr do is unmount the pump here, right? There is a there's an oxide all around the cable there, four cables. So that's probably the plus, the minus, the mass or the ground, whatever, and a data cable to regulate the pump speed to to start it or stop it. There's some little fan here, but some of the people might actually might actually get confused why why would it need this kind of such small fan you know it's pretty simple as the air cooling systems um they well they sorry um talk last here so the normal air cooling systems well they are uh, cooling down the processor they're 
are also cooling down the components on the motherboard around them. So you know, water pump is is a water pump. All the fluid goes in here, the cold fluid, and the exchanges with the hot fluid. Which means that no no other parts are actually getting cooled down. So this is where this fan comes in, uh, just just to do the trick, and it's it's not really essential essential part. You could have actually mounted anywhere else in your computer. Right, so um, I'll see you later when I when I dismantle this thing here. See you later.